Yeah, so my uh, my recording got interrupted. But I'll I'll continue now. So the session started off with a lot of movement, a lot of flow, a lot of chanting, a lot of mudras. And it was oh my, and you know when the break is off, you really feel this continuous flow of um, energy. The energy is making these movements, these changes, and you're not you're not. You're not aware of what it is doing. You're just aware of the movements and you're aware of the expression of um, of, of, the, of, of, the, of the impact of it, right? Or the impact that it's creating. Then I saw like these chords all connect to people, all the people in the room, and I could see and sense and feel their hearts and there was like this thread running through all their hearts and it was faster and faster and I was moving with my hands and I almost felt like a channel in that moment. Felt like I was completely um, empty, like a vessel and the energy was just using um, the body and the, the this, all of this to to connect, to accelerate, to um, to charge, right? Then, um, like, to, it was as if I was working with the people, with the other people, because afterwards, after the session, I, I realized that a lot of what they said, I also experienced those things. <laughs> like, um, there were moments where I would just have this impression of certain people and then I would see their issue and I would f that the energy would be, would fill it would fill them with with love and light and then they would like make some sounds or some kind of reactions and I would feel some change in my body as well then there was also a lot of yelling like a lot of noises that were like so deep and a lot of um, fluting like these kind of sounds and a lot of shamanistic movement shamanistic sounds like words gibberish it was uh, yeah, it's so it's so it's so beyond yourself it's like you think to yourself like like your mind is trying to put some kind of context on this why is why is this happening what's the meaning of it what does this mean what does this mean what does this mean what does this mean how does this fit into the context but i, I realize you just have to let it go you don't, don't have to interpret it or make something out of it you can talk about it but you don't have to necessarily know it 100 percent because i mean i don't know why what why would you want to know? I guess for some kind of um, certainty, some kind of safety of feeling, feeling safe, some kind of uh, mental understanding. But why would you need mental understanding? In a way, the mental understanding allows you to allows the nervous system to feel um, grounded in experience, to not want to push away from it or to not dissociate from it. So then, there was um, um, yeah, I started to see these these roots of this connection to like my, my ancestors. And I, I felt and I saw that there were like these tubes or connection of cords that were connected to me through them and some were black or some had negativity. And I felt in my body there was like some kind of dark energy uh, that had to be purged or healed, released, forgiven. So I was sending it was excruciating. It was like uh, there was some kind of exorcism, like 
releasing it all from the body and like squirming and movements and the sounds. It's like you're giving birth or something. And then I saw the the cords between the ancestors and me were all like filled with light and they were like cleared up. Love, forgiveness, it was all like cleared up. I don't know if everything was done, but a lot of what a lot of it was done. And then there was like a huge beam of light, like a spotlight, like like huge, like centering on me and like filling me with incredible light. And I felt like I felt like on fire with light. It was um, it was amazing. Um, yeah, so I saw the darkness move my body. Uh, I saw like darkness, and then I saw angels gathered around me, and they they asked me to get up. So I got up. Like you, really, you literally feel like this movement from them. Like get up, and you get up, and I f I took their hands. Each one. And we just stand, stood there and we, we made these sounds. I, I don't remember what sounds they were, but we also were singing Elohim. And every time that was sung, my heart like was filled with, yeah, with this energy of, ah, ah. <laughs> so after that, After, after we did that with the angels, there was like um, an energetic process to, to, to send energy out to all the people to through the cords that were connected to like to charge it with some kind of energy, some kind of vibrational um, intention or something. Um, I don't know if it's intention. I, th I don't think it's intention. It's, it's like it was being charged with With power, right? With power, yeah. So that people would feel their own power, or get a get a get a taste of their own power. Then, mm, mm, yeah, at a certain point. Like I did, headstands, bridges. Um, there was there was this moment where there was so much flow happening in the body. Like I was doing like these tai chi movements and these 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 beautifully organically flowing uh, gestures and postures. And it was so enjoyable to do it and so pleasant to do it. Um, yeah, it really felt amazing. At a certain point, there was a sense of like. Like just losing everything, like disappearing completely, like falling on the ground. And then there was this sense that I like I was I felt that I was like in a, in a, in shells. You know, like a Russian doll. You put one one, you take away one, you take away one, and there's always a smaller one inside. And I was um I was experiencing that I was like crawling like squirming outside of this shell and trying to to like squeeze myself out of it and i felt like my body was like going through this agony like ah, and like climbing out of it it was like like neo climbing out of that pot when he when he takes the red pill and he awakens it was um yeah it was actually one of the hardest processes i've had so far because that squirming and that 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 tension in the body it was super strong, um, and then the breathing became so light and so fresh. It was as if I was breathing for the very first time in my life. It was just pure free breath. That was amazing. By the way, I forget to mention there was um, I was fasting for two days, so I did this fasted. Mm, yeah, I also felt that. It was like before when I was connected with my ancestors, I felt like I was processing a lot of the emotions that they they were um, they still like had or gave 
passed on or whatever or didn't process so that was being processed uh it's funny because you know before the the session the facilitator she puts out this these oracle cards where you can draw a card that presents you with a theme and my theme was uh, break the chain break the chain of ancestral pain of patterns of ancestral patterns and a lot of my intentions were also about that it was about um figuring figuring out patterns setting the intention to heal core wounds uh, setting the intention to be a light in the world setting the intention to depend on nobody there was a um, an ending where i just felt embraced so i embraced like my body started to embrace itself and i was rocking back and forth wiggling back and forth and i was just hugging myself and i felt that as a as a baby there was a feeling of not being hugged enough of not being cherished enough and that a part of me that part of me that part of of, of the identity it wants to it, there's some kind of residual it wants to be nurtured cared for and there's just this being with it being with it you're you're with me you're safe you're 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 okay you want it mm -hmm. Yeah, there was also a moment where I spoke a lot of gibberish, like that. I don't know what that was. <laughs> like, um, I noticed that some facilitators or people that do it often, they speak light language. No idea what that is, but um, yeah, I've heard I've heard about it, and I guess there's some kind of judge judgment about it from 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 in my in my. Um, in my psyche, some kind of thing like it's strange, it's weird, it's mm, I don't know. <laughs> mm, yeah, and what I really noticed from the sessions is that more and more and more there's the experience of allowing the happening to occur and not influencing it at all. Just surrendering to it, surrendering to it, surrendering to it, surrendering to it. And each each session kind of brings more clarity. Kind of brings this 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 sense of something was resolved, something was done, something was processed. And what's really interesting is that After the sessions, I am so cognizant and aware. First of all, I'm in this free, free, in this state of free flow of being completely in harmony with myself. And for the second, there's this, there's this sense of like being hyper vigilant, hyper aware, like of what is still attaching me. What is still in, in in myself latching on to things? So there was, um, I noticed some kind of judgment or some kind of um, pulling away or pulling towards something, pushing something away or wanting something to, to come closer. And I so felt that, that my mind still has this contextualizing mechanism of trying to get something but I, I also feel that it is driven by unconscious patterns and unconscious energy which is trying to fulfill a need which is trying to fulfill a desire which is trying to fulfill some kind of idea and I mean I'm just writing it all down <laughs> sometimes too too often and I realize that this is all material which can be used to be processed, to be worked out. Like for instance, I have so many things that I that I need to investigate. Sometimes it seems daunting, but I just realized it was this quote that uh, came up. Like your healing. I mean, 
unimaginable years of collective unconsciousness in yourself. Give yourself a break. Don't expect that you will be perfect in one day. Don't expect that you will just like that finish everything. Allow yourself to take one step at a time. Allow yourself to have the journey. Allow yourself to enjoy it. Allow yourself. Allow, 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 allow. What I what I noticed was because you're in this in this space with the facilitators where you see and feel them and you kind of resonate with them, you really sense of where the person is coming from. It's either from their stillness, from that the truth is arising and they're expressing it. And it's a, I don't know if I would call it a female energy, but it's a, it's an, it's an energy of, of lightness. And then there is, there are people or facilitators who are more um, coming from a place of wanting to explain wanting to say, wanting to convince, wanting to share, wanting from a desire to, to do something, to make something happen, to, to, to affect somebody, right? And it's, 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 it's quite different. Like, it's, it's very subtle, but I notice the way things come into me and also in the voice, in the, in the tonation of the voice, I noticed this, this very, very subtle tension or no tension at all and whatever is being heard is then hmm, it's not thought about it just felt right but the things that are said with 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 force right with an intention they are they are being heard and then interpreted and thought about and deconstructed or placed in somehow. It's uh, yeah, it's it's a very fine distinction. So yeah, I have twenty sessions so far. For this year, I have so many plans that I've received for my sessions. Like I need to do so many. I don't need to do, but I'm invited to do a lot of trainings yoga training, meditation training, a um, tantric training, a psychosomatics training, like all tools to work with different aspects of, of the organism, of the body-mind organism. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm um, I'm hesitant to say, but the process is so unlike what I've expected it to be. The process is so much more hmm, revealing and releasing than I expected thought it would be about adding or integ integrating or changing. Anyway, um, yeah. Hmm. Thank you so much. See you all very soon.